Good morning. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're having a, a great week. Um, I hope your week is not like my funny. Um, it's only Wednesday. I hope you don't look like that at work today. There's hope, though. You, tomorrow's a holiday. We're going to celebrate July the 4th, and I want to be the first to wish you a happy 4th of July. As you celebrate, maybe have a long weekend, enjoy yourself, but remember to be safe, be smart. I want to talk today about, um, as I was thinking about celebrating um, the Declaration of Independence, I, I was thinking about scripture from uh, Nehemiah in chapter 9, when the Jewish people were coming back from bondage at Babylon, and they had come back to form their nation because they had been disobedient to God and they had lost his favor, so they were captured into slavery. And as they came back, uh, this scripture in Nehemiah 9 was publicly uh, proclaimed and shown to the people. And it was stating that they were signing a binding agreement. And I want to show you that right now as we read it, Nehemiah 9.38. It says, in view of all this, we are making a binding agreement, putting it in writing, and our leaders, our Levites, and our priests are affixing their seals to it. They were promising to follow God and be obedient to him because they had sinned and fallen short. Kind of like what we would do in committing ourselves to joining the church, to serving the Lord, or publicly acknowledging Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Tomorrow we're going to celebrate, back in 1776, 56 members of the American Second Continental Congress signed the Declaration of Independence. This was no mere formality. These men were choosing to publicly identify themselves and their families and even their descendants after them as being in favor of breaking away from Great Britain and forming a new nation. You know, in doing this, they had pledged publicly their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor. And records show us that many of them paid a heavy price. Several of them lost their lives, and most all of them lost their fortunes. But none of them lost their sacred honor because they were doing what was right. You know, signing one's name to a public document means becoming accountable for what the document sets forth. When the leaders and the Levites of Israel signed a, a sure covenant, of allegiance to God after being restored from captivity in Babylon, they were aligning themselves publicly with God. And doing this publicly, it allowed them to hold each other accountable for the promise they had made before each other and before God. They made commitments and promises and, and they, then they put it in writing to remind themselves. And they made themselves accountable for their actions going forward from this day. You know, putting things in writing, on paper, or by verbal declaration, that's a serious act of allegiance. We do this when we profess our faith in Jesus Christ to God before the congregation or church or before, before people publicly. And Jesus requires us to do that. We have to proclaim it before man. Jesus says if we, don't, if we deny it before man, he's going to deny us before God. So every follower of Jesus Christ, by confessing that Jesus is Lord, they invite the world to judge their words by their actions. So as you celebrate July the 4th, I want you to think about that this week. Think about your commitment to God. What have you committed to him and what are you doing publicly to confirm that commitment to God? Are you in church on Sundays? I know this is a bad weekend and I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. A lot of people will be out of town and I respect that. I want you to be safe. I want to make sure that you stream the service and stay connected and receive God's word on YouTube and Facebook. And I'm not trying to make you feel guilty about that. I'm looking at each and every Sunday. Are you committed to the Lord like you promised? Do you want to go to heaven? If you do, you got to make that commitment. And it's more than just saying, I believe in Jesus. The demons in, in hell believe in Jesus. They believe in God because they have witnessed and seen him and his power. 
So just believing it's not enough. You've got to have a commitment. Think about that as we s celebrate the Declaration of Independence. Are we publicly patriotic? Are we supporting our country? Are we behind what this nation stands for? How about church? How about God? That's more important. Are we behind God? and the church and what God established the church for through Jesus Christ. That's some serious stuff to think about. You know, Thomas Wilson said, a man has no time for which he's not accountable to God. We're going to stand before God one day on Judgment Day, and we're going to be accountable for the talents he's given us and for the time that we spent here on earth. He's going to ask us, what have we done with our time? So you need to answer that question. Are you serving the Lord? If not, now's a great time to get involved in the church. You can find a church home. There are a lot of good churches that preach the Bible. Make sure you find that. You're welcome to come to Proctor Memorial. We receive you and let you serve with us. But make sure you think about that, pray about it, and commit yourself to it. You can be a great witness to the world. I want to ask you if you would to pray with me. Almighty God, I just thank you for this great nation. Tomorrow as we celebrate the Declaration of Independence, and the leaders, Father, that made the sacrifice to sign it, to publicly put forth their lives, their fortunes, their names, so that we might be free to worship you. Father, I pray that each one listening to my voice will take that to heart and realize the seriousness, the privilege, and the blessing that we have received from this, and that they will serve you as it was intended in this great nation. Help us, Father, to do your will. Be with us as we celebrate this holiday weekend. Help us to be safe. Help us to be prosperous. And help us to be faithful to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me. Have a good week, weekend. Continue to be productive and be safe. Hope to see you soon.